So today we've heard Philip Hammond's first spring budget. It was pretty boring, so I assume most of you can sit through it. So let me tell you what happened. Um, for me, it felt like Hammond was hoping we had collective amnesia of all of the cuts that have happened up till now, because there were a few announcements about spending on services. So for instance, on social care, which is in crisis, we heard an investment of two billion, but there's a funding gap of five billion driven by public spending cuts. On schools, they've been asked to cut back by three billion up to 2020. Um, and there was an announcement of a 320 million pound fund to pay for grammar schools, free schools, faith schools, schools actually that could undermine equality and social mobility. Finally, on domestic violence, uh, it's International Women's Day, we'd expect to hear some good news for women in the budget. There was an announcement for 20 million of 20 million. And the problem is, of course, is that the cuts up till now mean that one in five refugees have shut um, since 2010. So this really was a matter of taking in with two hands and today giving back a little bit with one hand. So the Chancellor's excuse for holding back on giving more to public services was that he's saving money for a rainy day or he's saving money for Brexit. Now, that fails to recognise where we are. We're in a thunderstorm. The NHS crisis, social care crisis, police, probation services, all of these services are really suffering now from public spending cuts. And that means that everyday life is made more difficult for everyday people. And we're also faced with the slowest growth in incomes for 60 years. So we would have hoped for more. It seems as if Hammond thinks that public services are an add-on rather than the wheels on the car that are driving us forward. On inequality, we saw more tax cuts for the richest. Savings, for instance, the limit, the tax-free limit for ISIS moved up from 15,240 to 20,000 pounds. Who has 20,000 pounds to put in a bank account? The top the top tax band moved up from 43,000 to 45,000, again putting more money in the pockets of the richest. What would I have liked to have seen today? Well, Brexit puts us in uncharted waters. There's so much work to be done. I mean, it's put everything back on the table, trade, regional investment, workers' rights. And yet today, all we heard was tinkering and piecemeal. Um, I would have loved to have heard about the end of public spending cuts. I would have liked to have seen the commitment to ground infrastructure spending, social and physical, uh, regionally, not just in London and the South East. We heard nothing of that, really. Nothing about the industrial strategy. I mean, how are we going to emerge a stronger Britain if we don't invest now? Unprecedented challenges call for bold moves and innovative thinking, but today all we got was more of the same.